Hey, thanks for coming to check out today's video. So today is a crochet look with some all new hair from Toyo Tress. This hair caught my eye immediately when I saw it on Amazon. This hair is Unique Deep Wave Locks and it's in 22 inches. The color is T30 and it does come in an eight pack and I did use every single piece of this hair for my head. Now I have a average size head, not small, not large, but if you do have a larger size head, I would say get more than the eight pack because you will more than likely need it so I didn't start off with freshly washed hair or anything you guys the, the my hair needs to be washed but <laughs> we're gonna move right along um, I separated the front of my head and from the back and in the front I did a middle part to go ahead and get this illusion braid pattern started so once I separated um, the left side from the right side, I went ahead and did another parting space that's about a half an inch wide. I went ahead and added my edge control all across the sides. The edge control I use when crocheting my hair is the Stasha Harris. It's the Shine and Jam um, Magic Fingers one. And you can get it on Amazon, so I'll put a link down there. And this hair, Toyo Tress is also available on Amazon, so I'll link the hair as well as the products that I use to achieve this look on Amazon. So I went ahead and did five box braids at the top. Then I did one box braid on the next um, row and did a cornrow going straight back. So the first two rows are, the first row is box braids. The next row is a box braid in the front and a cornrow behind it. This next um, section, this third row, is one box braid at the front. And then you're gonna incorporate the loose box braids at the top into the cornrow, as well as this front box braid. So all those empty box braids, oh, um, single box braids will be incorporated into this cornrow, as well as this front braid. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. If you're a visual learner, you can watch what I'm doing. If you're an auditory learner, hopefully I'm explaining it well enough so you can understand what I'm doing. But I'm basically overlapping those box braids over that one cornrow there. I find when you add it into that cornrow, that cornrow there gets too bulky. And so it's too thick and it draws too much attention to itself. So this next section, um, I did all box braids. Um, for that fourth section and the fifth section oops, sorry guys and the last section right above my ear I just incorporate all those empty box braids into the cornrow now this braid pattern is going to give you distinct parting sections so you're going to have a left side part a right side part and a very good looking middle part as well it's going to give you that look of individuals um, without having to do individuals okay so only do this braid pattern if you want a left side part a middle part and a right side part otherwise you don't have to do this braid pattern but this is for those that want that versatility of parting space in the front with still having like that illusion of you know individual locks so in the back, I did two cornrows just going straight across the nape of my neck to alleviate any tension off the nape of my neck. So this is what it's looking like with five packs, okay? So remember, we have an eight pack. That is what five packs was looking like. So now I'm going to start doing the crochets in the front. You're just going to put one crochet into each box okay so it's very very self-explanatory and easy once you get to this step
right, so this is what it's looking like with four packs. Sorry, not four. I thought it was four, but then I recounted and it's actually five. This is what five packs is going, how far it's going to get you. So halfway to the front of your head and all the back of your head will be complete. So then again, just put one single lock in each single box braid and it'll start to give you that illusion. Now I didn't realize when I was making my box braids that I was making them a little bit too small. So in the future, um, I didn't realize how fluffy these locks would be. I would make my little individual boxes a little bit bigger just to give more space in between each lock so they just have a little more breathing room. I felt like they felt a little crowded, but I had to do you know what I did in the braid pattern. So to do it all again, I would probably make my braid pattern just slightly wider boxes to accommodate for the fluffiness of these um, crochet locks. Now in the front I do do the individual crochet method so I go ahead and take my box braid as well as the lock put it underneath crochet it through then I go ahead and take my own hair and crochet it through the middle of the faux lock so that it is fully concealed inside. Now you can do your whole head on this method but for me it's very time consuming so I choose to just do the front two box braids just to make it look more natural. Now be careful when you do this when you take your hair out do not cut your own hair please be careful when you do this if you feel like you won't remember don't do this all right so let's take the bonnet off I slept with my bonnet um because I finished my hair real real late last night it was like really late it's really pretty let me back the camera up this hair is so so pretty I love it like this actually. Now of course when you first do your hair you're gonna find areas where you might need to add a couple little pieces. So you can see this braid right here so I'll probably add a piece here and add a piece right here. Of the eight pack this is all that I have left. I have four twists left. So I have a medium or average size head. I would say my head is average not medium it's just average. So if you have a average size head, I would say the eight pack works. If you have a larger size head, I would say you need a little more than the eight pack in order to have a really, really full look. But if you just want like a normal density look, then eight will be enough even if you do have a larger size head. The curls are so pretty and this color is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is not an ombre color. I was concerned that it wasn't ombre because I wasn't sure how it was going to look, but this is really, really a beautiful color. Um, and I love how versatile this braid pattern is. Um, you can wear the hair half up, half down, which is my favorite way um, to wear my hair when I have crochets in. I love this hair you guys if you can't tell this hair is so so beautiful highly recommend it it's very lightweight very bouncy and it's from a brand that I absolutely love and have been working with for years I've been working with Toyo Trust probably since the inception of my channel which is almost nine years by now so highly highly recommend Toyo Trust any of their hair but particularly this new hair um, so I'm going to try a couple different hairstyles and yeah, that'll pretty much be the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed. I'll be having more hair coming at you guys very, very soon. Make sure you are following me on Instagram, Jess Monique Thomas and Jess Fly Finds, as well as on TikTok, Jess Monique Thomas. I'll have this hair linked in my TikTok shop as well. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and make sure you do one thing for me. Share this video, share it with a friend, share it with a crochet lover, share this video with your mama. Peace.